Hey guys, my name is TJ and this is the Go Figure channel. This is my first unboxing and video review with me talking. Um, I don't usually do this, but I guess uh, this one is an exception. Um, I bought this knockoff figure of Kobe Bryant from a company called Legend Creation. And uh, this is an enter bay copy, so it's 1 is to 9 scale, about 8 to 9 inches in height, and around 15 to 30 US dollars depending on where you're from the price of the legit version is just too high and given the uh, situation i don't think it's practical to buy it for now but i guess if all goes well with this figure review i'll be saving up and get the uh, original legit version which is one is to six scale for now i'll be unboxing this and uh, let's see if it's uh, on par with the original version i hope you can subscribe and like this channel so i can do more unboxing and figure reviews Okay, so let's start unboxing this figure. The box is made of uh, of soft cardboard. It's not that thick. And same with the plastic trays, uh, which houses the figure. It's a bit soft, soft uh, plastic. You can see here the accessories and the, the extra hands the stand, the base, and the figure. Let's uh, check out the figure first. So we can see the, uh, the quality of the figure. And don't expect much because uh, this is a copy, like I said, this is a copy of the Enter Bay figure. The likeness is okay. It's the sculpt or it's a recast of the original figure. The eyes are a bit off, so I think I'll be doing some painting on this one. And as uh, as for some of the joints, it's a bit loose, so I guess I'll be putting blue tack so I can tighten it. And uh, I'll go about the artic uh, articulation later, but for now, I'll be checking out the figure first. So the soft fabric on this one is good except that the Lakers design or the Lakers jersey I don't think it's accurate because the, the, the yellow lines are a bit thick on this one but the print is fairly good enough and for the knees as you can see it's differently colored it has a different shade of brown compared to the upper leg and the shins so and the plastic as well you can see that uh, plastic marks there so you can definitely say that this is not a premium uh, figure and if you can see the shoes as well I'm not sure if those are ac accurate uh, Kobe Bryant shoes so for the accessories you can see here that uh, there are three pairs of hands the stand or the base of the stand this is where you put the uh, the peg for the stand you have the Lakers stickers or logos and this is I think this is just a manual or it says here after sale service and clearly shouts knockoff as it says M Turbe not N Turbe so these are the hands and it has Haokai toy I'm not sure what that that uh, what does it mean so those are the pairs of hands you can use to replace the current ones so all in all you have four pairs of hands this is the ball it's nicely printed and it looks like it's worn out so I'm not sure if it, if they did that by default or uh, it's just that way uh, it, it looks nice so anyway this is the logo which uh, you place on the stand probably for pho uh, photography purposes and for the other accessories of the stand this is where you put the ball and the long one is where you put the figure so I'm not, I wasn't sure about this one yet and this one is where is what you use to attach or uh, this is where you attach the figure it has a magnet on it so 
it attaches to the back of the figure, which I'll be showing later. So for the articulation of the figure, the head moves 360 and it can look up by that much through the ball joint and down by this much and there are two ball joints on the, the on the neck so it can look further down or further up like that and for the arms this is a, there's a, a ball joint on the shoulders which doesn't look so nice and it has a butterfly joint inside the chest bicep swivel here and you can also see the lines here it's awful there are uh, double jointed elbows which uh, which is very usable and for the hands or the wrist there's a ball joint inside and you can already see the stress mark on the left hand there on the plastic so I suggest whenever you remove the hand be very careful because right now uh, I can see this breaking on me whenever I uh, if I'll be replacing the hands on this figure so you have to be very careful there are already stress marks on this uh, peg so let's check out the right arm and uh, let's see the tattoos on this figure so you can see there that the tattoo breaks on the uh, uh, bicep swivel and this is the forearm tattoo and it's nicely printed so I'll give them that it's I'm not sure if it's uh, entirely accurate but uh, I guess it's okay and the sleeves are fairly nice too you can see also the right arm and let's check out the uh, torso articulation of this figure. I think it has a ball joint inside because uh, if you can see here, you can move it left and right and uh, you can also tilt it sidewards and check out the uh, lower uh, articulation of the torso or I mean the hip. And you can see there that it can move left to right, can swivel and it has ball joint in it so it can also move uh, from left to right and it can also do some crunches so the print on this side is good let's check out the legs it can move that far so it's uh, far it's okay and uh, let's check out the left leg so same as the other one it can move that far as well and there are, there's no swivel on the thighs but there are uh, double jointed knees if you check out the plastic on this one it's a bit loose and there are no ankle rockers but you can move the ankles up and down and side to side as well so for the jersey let's check out the details the the logo is nicely printed and the leg wrap or leg wraps is nicely done though there is a bit of a uh, thread hanging in there and for the stand this is how you assemble it you just put the long one in the middle or wherever you want to place it and loosen the screw here which you use to uh, attach onto the figure right there's also a ball joint on that stand and check out the magnet on his back on the, the figure's back so it, it can attach like that so here's a size comparison with other action figures so overall I'm giving this figure a solid 7 out of 10 um, is it worth getting if you're not a collector but a fan of Kobe, then I guess it's okay to buy. But if you have enough funds, I suggest you go get the original Enter Bay figure. In the case of this knockoff figure, you get what you pay for, so don't expect too much. Though it's still nice to take photos of this figure. And speaking of photos, check out the photos in the end of this video. I hope you find this video informative. And please like, share, and subscribe and help this channel grow so I can do more unboxing and reviews of action figures. Thank you so much for watching and let's talk in the comments below.